Meanwhile, former FBI Director James Comey firing back at Hillary Clinton after the failed presidential candidate commented on the revelation that Comey used a personal email account to conduct official FBI business. So Clinton tweeted, quote, but my emails alongside news of the finding. Here's what the former FBI director had to say. I don't want to criticize her, but it shows me that even at this late date, she doesn't understand what the investigation in her case was about. It was not about her use of a personal email system. It was about communicating about classified topics on that system. Joining me now to weigh in on all of this is President of Judicial Watch, Tom Fitton. What do you make of this? Well, when it comes to Hillary Clinton, no corruptee goes unpunished. Uh, James Comey covered up her uh, email crimes for her. And of course, Hillary Clinton was unhappy with the way he talked about uh, some of what she did. And so she's pushing back against him. And there is some irony because he did in, uh, improperly use a private email system to do, to, to do uh, some government business. And on top of that, he's being investigated for mishandling classified information, just like Hillary was. Uh, so in many ways, legally speaking, uh, there are two peas in a pod. But what Hillary Clinton did was egregious beyond all imagination in terms of uh, a cabinet official setting up a separate email system to conduct all of her government business with the purpose of keeping those emails away from the American people without a care about its impact on national security and the public interest. Does she not have a care or is she really, because sometimes, you know, when she answered these questions, it did seem like she's really clueless about technology and that, you know, she sort of it kept trying to say to her, when you take something that is classified or a secret out of a domain where it's protected and you have it out in another place, it's being exposed. And she would always conflate the idea of like using a Gmail with conducting business on an insecure server. Is there any chance that it's just kind of all, it's all technology to her and she needs, you know, like a 10 year old to come over and sort of set up her system and explain it to her like I do? Uh, no, uh, Yuma Abedin testified to Judicial Watch. It was her idea to have the separate system. She was warned repeatedly by national security officials in her agency, the State Department. We uncovered the documents. The FBI and DOJ covered those documents up. That she was warned repeatedly about the impact of using private devices on uh, uh, in terms of security, and and she was contemptuous of that. She called them the, the security hawks, and even this latest uh, tweet. You know, I'm sure she's having some fun at uh, Comey's expense, but there's nothing fun about what she did. And frankly, she still faces criminal liability if the Justice Department and the FBI are finally going to honestly approach this issue because we now know the prior investigation had zero credibility and needs to be redone. So James Comey, his response was that all he was doing is he would sit at home and write a speech for something that he was supposed to do, something innocuous that contained no classified information. He would do it on his own time at home and then he would email it in from his personal email into his work email to have the work there later when he showed up. That's how he explained it. What do you make of that? It was, it's the convenience excuse, <laughs> which is something we've heard uh, from Mrs. Clinton disingenuously. Uh, Lee. Uh, the IG concluded that that was not appropriate. He shouldn't have done it, and it raises questions about uh, responses to congressional inquiries and Judicial Watch FOIA lawsuits, whether his email account personally should have been searched as well. Uh, you just can't take anything that James Comey says at face value anymore. And we need some verification, and the FBI and DOJ needs to investigate. Do you think the American public has the stomach for another investigation? I mean, now to sort of chase down James Comey when he's already out of the public eye, he's already been fired. How relevant is that, in your opinion? Well, he's already being investigated for the mishandling of classified information, and that would be tied to his email use. So it's no big deal to uh, clarify what went on here uh, by uh, investigators in the IG, in the least. What do you make of now the back and forth between James Kobe and Andrew McCabe about whether or not, I guess, Comey knew that Andrew McCabe was communicating with the New York Times and with others that he was giving stories out to? They're both sort of pointing the finger at each other and saying that the other one is lying. You have a lot of uh, experience trying to get documents out of the government to try and prove one way or the other who's telling the truth. What, what needs to be done there? What do you make of that mess? You know, it's hard to tell who to believe. I think uh, you can be sure that the leak was inappropriate and neither of them want to have their fingerprints on it. So it explains that maybe both 
are uh, pointing figures, uh, fingers in an uh, inappropriate way or in a way that's not credible at each other. And again, it's the league that was inappropriate. McCabe says he has permission. Yeah. Comey says he wants no part of it. Now, in defense of McCabe, we know that Comey improperly leaked the FBI records of the President of the United States. So again, uh, Mr. Comey is the worst witness yeah. in terms Although of credibility. Although he always says it's not a leak. It wasn't a leak. So there you go. Anyway, Tom Fitton, thank you.